Lausser Mountain National Park, with its beautiful, unique, and amazing nature. This forest is one that was turned into a national park, covering two parts of two of Indonesia's provinces, North Sumatra and Nangro Aceh Darussalam. For a girl who lives in a forest that is disappearing, this is a challenge she faces in the fast-changing world of today. My name is Lily. I live in a village close to Lausser Mountain National Park, North Sumatra. Every day, my father and I go to the forest to collect rattan. Just before the sun rises, it's the best time of the day for us to find rattan. We enter the forest. As I see, the sun begins to rise and shine brightly. Rays of light in shades of yellow, red, and orange breaks through the leaves. Aside from collecting rattan, my father also teaches me how to get food like mushrooms, fruits, honey, and medicinal plants. My father told me that trees retain water during the rainy season and release water slowly back to the river. So we will always have enough water supply for the village, even if it doesn't rain for months. There are various kinds of flora and fauna in the Sumatra forest. The experts say it is one of the richest forests in the world. There are so many plants that could be a cure to many kinds of diseases, such as cancer, malaria, and others. Not to mention the animals that live in the forest. Many rare and amazing animal species can be found. When I was five years old, my father and I used to spend all day in the forest. I used to see wild animals like monkeys, hornbills, and sun bears. But my favorite animal is orangutan. My father told me that his grandfather believed that orangutan is actually a tribe of people living in the rainforest. Maybe it's because they look like people. And sometimes they even behave like us too. Baby orangutans are always carried by their mothers, just like my sisters being carried by our mother. Once I saw an orangutan use a stick to get honey from the hives. Orangutans build nests up on the trees every day. It looks like this one was recently slept in last night. I used to see orangutans every day. Nowadays, I'll be very lucky if I can see them once a month. The forest of Sumatra continues disappearing as a result of irresponsible illegal loggers. Every single minute, an area of forest the size of a soccer field is ruined. Not to mention forest fires during the dry season, which are set on purpose to open new farmland. The fire generates smoke that is hazardous to our health and our neighboring countries also suffer the impact of the fire. These days, the forests start to disappear because two years ago, the trees were cut down and burned. What used to be a green forest is now plantation, and most of orangutans have no place to live anymore. 
My father works there, and I visit him sometimes. It's very hot in here, not like in the forest. Much of the workers on the palm oil plantation come from outside Sumatra. And my father said they are able to work hard under the sun. This is some of what the orangutan eats. They can't find food in the forest anymore. Our forest is gone! If the workers see the orangutan, they shoot him. Often, they will capture an orangutan mother and her baby. The forest rangers said most of the baby orangutan are sold to rich people in the city. Possibly, the man who owns the plantation also keeps an orangutan in his house. He lives in the city, right? I am so devastated to see a baby orangutan in captivity. I can feel they are in pain. Orangutan is a great ape that is almost extinct. Their population in Sumatra is estimated to be around 7,000 and less than 40,000 in Kalimantan. If they keep hunting orangutan, soon our closely related primate cousin will be extinct forever. Now, forest rangers and animal lovers are doing their best to save the orangutans living in captivity by moving them to a temporary safe location. Before they can be released back to the wild, they are all sent to school to learn how to survive in the wild. Forest rangers also told me that preparing an orangutan to return to the forest may take as much time as I need to graduate from elementary school. Wow, that's a long time. According to my teacher, it's okay that the government letting businessmen cut the trees in the forest and turn it into a plantation as long as it doesn't ruin the preservation of the forest. My teacher also said, the companies pay their taxes and the government uses the money for reconstruction and to build schools. But when are they going to build a new school for us? In fact, every time they cut down the trees, many disasters happened in our village. Landslides, floods, and now even our river is dirty and smelly. My father doesn't let me play in the river anymore. He said I can get sick. With the forest disappearing, everyone is suffering. No more clean water, no more fresh air, and it's hard to. Now, we can feel the effect from environmental changes. Our planet Earth is getting warmer. Increasing human population, while our quality of life is getting worse. If we do not preserve the balance of nature, we will endanger the future of life on this planet. Looks like we might share the same fate as the orangutan. I hope our forest can be restored and life will be the way it used to be.